Okay, let's get started. I have all of the things in my kit and my t-shirt ready to go. So first I'm going to add my embroidery hoop to my t-shirt. I'm going to put the larger side on the inside. This is just to make it easier to kind of hold on to. Mine was already pretty tight, but you could tighten that if you needed to. And now I'm going to lay out where I want my LEDs to go. So I'm going to actually utilize this white area on the outside of the heart, and I'm going to add my LEDs around the heart. So I've decided that I'm going to do one on the top, one on the bottom, and then maybe like one, two, three, so six, seven, eight LEDs on it. And what I'll do first is take the LED here, and you'll notice that it has the long and the short leg. The long one is positive, the short one is negative. And I want to just kind of come up with a pattern for what I'm going to do. So I think the best thing to do is to do all of the positive or the long legs on the outside of the heart and all of the short legs on the inside of the heart. And that way it's going to make it really easy to make those two rails of thread around the heart kind of more like a circle than a line um, so that all of the outer edges are going to be positive and all of the inner edges, edges are going to be negative. Okay. So what I want to do is push my LED's legs through the fabric and if you just kind of stick it through that actually could work for a lot of t-shirts but Sometimes it's a little trickier, so what I like to do is get out a needle and you can kind of hold up your LED as a reference and go ahead and put a little hole where the two legs will go through with your needle and then kind of twirl it around a little bit to make the hole a little bit bigger and that's going to make it so easy to just stick your LED's legs right through the holes. So that's the first one. So I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way around my heart. Okay, so now I have all of my LEDs attached. And what we're going to do next is actually just bend these all down. So what I'm going to do is underneath I'm putting some pressure on the LED that I'm working with so that it doesn't fall down. And I actually can take some pliers. You don't need pliers for this step, but I kind of, if you have pliers, you use pliers, right? Um, so I'm going to hold the LED with my two fingers and I'm just going to bend down the legs in opposite directions. And we want all of the short legs going in towards the center of the heart and the long legs going out. So it's going to end up looking kind of like a circle. I didn't go quite flat. Can I get in there? So now I have all of my LEDs flat. All of the negative legs are pointing towards the inside of the heart and all of the positive legs are pointing towards the outside of the heart. So we're going to leave this alone for a moment and we're going to start attaching the battery holder. So the battery holder is really nice. It's this clear battery holder and I got these made so that you can see the solder joint to the switch, you can see the copper traces going throughout the compartment, and you can see that there's two wires separately going up. So you can trace the path of electricity through this. So the other nice thing about this is that it comes with two holes. See those two holes there? We're going to use those holes to attach the battery holder to our t-shirt. And we're just going to sew through both of them. So because I have a black t-shirt, I'm going to choose black thread. And I'm going to thread my needle. So now that I have my needle threaded and my battery compartment open, I'm going to place it kind of right here in the armpit. And this is kind of a silly interaction. I mean, when you turn this shirt on, you literally can reach into your armpit and flip the switch. You can put it somewhere else if you want, uh, but I find this to be convenient if you can ignore the fact that it looks like you're itching your armpit, and then uh, that's how you turn your circuit on. <laughs> um, but it's like a nice sturdy part of the shirt. Um, you know, I, I don't mind it ha having it underneath my arm, but 
you know, your choice, your choice. Uh, so I'm going to start by just putting the needle through the fabric, letting it get caught on the knot that I made at the end, and then threading it through the battery compartment. I'm going to come back through the other side of the oops, compartment there, and I'm going to just let that go over. That's fine there. Then I'm going to you know, place it nice and flat here, and I'm going to take just a little like pickup stitch on this side. Uh, because I chose the black thread, the black on the black shouldn't make it too noticeable that I'm attaching something here. So I'm cool with that. And I'm just going to do this a few times. And you might have a different way of doing this, but this is what works for me. Okay. And when you're done, you can just do a little finishing knot. And now you have your battery compartment attached. Thread it through one last time before you trim it. For good measure. You know, we might actually even want to tack it one more time where the wires come out. That way it'll really be quite sturdy. So what I could do is just go here and go around a few times and tack this in place too. I'm actually going through the nice little finished edges on the t-shirt. It's kind of nice that they're there sticking out for me to utilize. I'm doing this like way too many times probably. Maybe not, I don't know. Okay, so now we have our battery compartment connected quite nicely. Uh, at this point we can put our batteries in. So uh, you can see on this compartment there's a nice little instructions here, positive on this side, negative on that side. So I'll just take out my batteries and put those batteries right in. Hurrah! Huzzah! So there we go. Okay, so now we have our two wires coming out. Now I had these made where the wires are stripped but they haven't been pulled off. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this off now. And you can see that I have a nice stripped wire and I'm going to pull the two wires apart. Now this part is a little tricky. Separate those wires. Actually I could use scissors for this. Just go down the center in between the two wires, making sure I'm not cutting into either of the two. Okay. And with any threaded wire, I like to give it a little twist so that it doesn't fray on me later. Okay, so now our uh, job is to just connect our positive sides of our LEDs to the positive wire and our negative sides of our LEDs to our negative wire. And that's really it. And we're going to accomplish that with our connective thread. Okay. So first we need to make a connection between our battery pack and our conductive thread. And that's where our maker tape comes in. Okay, so what I'd like to do next is cut this maker tape into two pieces. We're going to use this maker tape as a conductive bridge between the wires in our battery pack and our conductive thread. So what I want to do is take a bunch of conductive thread. Uh, let's say we want to get all the way around our heart, so I would actually make it quite long. And we're going to thread our needle with the conductive thread. And we're going to just peel this off. Now, the trick to getting the backing off of this is to pinch it with a little bit of extra off the edge and then flick it a few times. And that'll actually start the peeling for you so you don't have to go crazy trying to use your nail to do that. And what you're going to do is take the end of your conductive thread and the end of your wire kind of wrap them around a little bit and then you're just going to use the conductive tape to go between the two and you're going to fold it back on top of itself. So 
So fold it in half where the two pieces of adhesive stick. And now you've just basically kind of made like a non-soldered solder joint. And you're going to take another piece of conductive thread and do the same. Okay. And I have two long pieces of conductive thread coming out of them. So now what we want to do is uh, keep these two guys away from each other. So to do that, I'm just going to use some of my black thread again, and I'm going to tack the two kind of apart. So I'll take this one. This is just regular thread I'm using. That's good. Okay, and then we want to tack the other one. Okay, so I have sewn the two pads far enough away from each other so that they can't touch. And I have now two long pieces of conductive thread. So what I like to do is the dashed wire is the positive wire coming out of this. So I'm going to do this one first. I'm going to put my negative thread back on my bobbin, actually. Just wrap it around the outside. This thread actually kind of holds grippy onto itself. And that way it'll just kind of be there and not getting all tangled. Okay. So now I'm going to thread my needle onto this thread. Right, and I'm just going to pull that through and kind of let it hang. Okay. So now, now here's where the staple of the staple method comes in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the positive sides of the LEDs, the positive legs, and I'm going to bend them up about halfway. So if this is where the LED is underneath, I'm going to bend it here like this. I do this to all of my positive legs. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little pickup stitch, pulling like one thread from the t-shirt through my needle. Oops. Very, very little. This is just to bridge the gap between the edge. That's just going to hold it in place, but not leave a huge um, dot on the front of the t-shirt. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a knot around here. There you go. Okay. Now I'm going to tie another knot around it. You also can do this kind of as a finishing stitch, like actually pick up one from behind. And... Okay, so now I have a few knots around my positive leg of my LED. Now, the reason that we call it the staple method is because what I'm going to do next is I'm going to just bend this back and then use the pressure in the wire to close a complete connection around the thread. Okay. So it's my tying a tight knot is not the only thing that is holding this together. It's the strength of the wire. So now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go all the way around my heart using the same method. So actually an interesting thing just happened. I actually broke my thread a little bit here. So I'm just going to try to get any of the extra hairs off because I don't want those hanging around. And I'm just going to tie another knot to this little LED leg as if nothing had ever happened. 
And that should be good enough. I'm going to trim it pretty close to its knot. And I'm just going to close it like the staple method. Again. Okay, so now that I've gone and tied my string or my conductor thread all the way around to all of the positive legs of the LEDs, I can go ahead and just trim this off. I don't want to continue around again to the other side because mm -hmm. all of them have been touched by that wire already and I want to provide a path to the interior of my circle with my negative side. So I'm going to go ahead and take this thread off. And I'm going to do the same thing to the interior wires. I'm going to thread my needle with my conductive thread again. Mm -hmm. so that I can create a nice path to the interior up here to go around the entire inside of the heart shape. Okay, I'm just going to use a little tiny stitch, the smallest little stitch that I can. Just pick up one or two threads to guide my thread where I want it to go without sacrificing the regular black t-shirt on the front, taking a little tiny stitch, all right and I guess I can go right to the first one. So now here I go with my tying of knots around all of the interior legs. Alright, let's turn it inside out. Make sure everything's working. Turn it on. Ooh. Okay, so now I'm going to take my lint roller and just go over it a few times. You know, I was cutting the conductive thread. There can be some little tiny pieces of thread in there that I don't want shorting my circuit, but for the most part this should work. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take off my outer ring here. Okay. I'm going to completely open it because I wanted to get this out. If you want, you could iron on like another piece of fabric with some of that like heat bond. That way this would be protected. You know, or you could just wear like a tank top underneath your t-shirt. Let's turn this inside out. Go in here, there we go.